Sunday guys and Paul and I has been really late today. We basically slept in the most of the day and it's about six o'clock now in the evening. So yeah, it's needed sometimes this whole thing. My mum is like kind of like persistent on we should try and get it onto a mechanic and see if like small adjustments, but we think it's a 15-year-old car guys. It's like it's been riding what it should do. Um, it had a long, long life been doing well but uh, we're not we're not ready to put in too much money into it um, because you can get a used car for not too much more and we've seen some nice models which is like five or six years newer um, and it's only till we find out if Paul can get his mobility car uh, which we are applying for so yeah we're taking Sally out for a walk now just to get some fresh air because we've been indoor all day so uh, and us what and us yeah, yeah we've all been in so uh, but yeah. Bit wet, you can see everywhere. I brought my diamond so I can play a little bit. So everything is starting to look green now. Spring is here. You can see everything is coming into bud and showing off nicely leaves and stuff. Grass is getting greener and flowers under trees and such bushes. So yeah, makes me feel much happier. You can see everything comes back to life like that. Look at that. So pretty. So awesome. Right. But uh, Sally's been inquisitive. She wants to see what everything is and know everything, like she always does. Yes, yeah, don't you? You minx. And then we go home, I'm going to have some tea. Probably going to be a very boring vlog today, guys. I'm sorry about that. But some days you just don't have the energy to do much. Uh, I'm sure you got that too. So uh, it's just going to be a quiet vlog. Completely lazy day today, guys. Only been um, playing some Counter Strike again. And only a few days, guys. I was too tired, as you can see now. And um, it's late. Uh, tomorrow, I got to go to the skate park. I gotta catch the bus day, unfortunately. Um, unless some of the kids are going there around opening hour and will be able to pick me up. I don't think so, though, because the parents aren't usually working around there. So. And those who probably could do it do not come here from this area where we're living at the moment. Um, still on news about a new place to live. We are looking every day and see if anything comes available. Um, if you didn't know this, we are moving from here uh, latest, the 1st of August. The guy who owns the house has been working in Brazil for the last two or three years. And um, he, this house here was only an emergency. Uh, the other house we moved out from because we had some disagreement with the owner. And we're still not short of that because she asking for money, but we didn't have any heating in the house. Nothing worked. If you watch my videos back then, you'll remember there's so many times we didn't have any heating. It was so cold and the boiler kept eating oil quicker than it should do because it was faulty and she never had it fixed. Plus the floor heating, which was all over the house, didn't work. So the boiler was basically um, only making hot water for the shower and the kitchen for washing up and stuff. We didn't have any heating and that was that was like a winter two winters well a winter and a half but it's really really cold and we had like a, a war with her going on and she claims she wants more money for rent and stuff not paying it so you can forget about that so this here was like an emergency solution we were told we could move in here and, and pay very cheap rent but it was only for a short base time because he didn't know if his contract would be any longer than till um september and he might come home slightly earlier so uh, we said yes to move in here and um, it has been a great saviour for us. Uh, we've been able to be in a house, feel warm, not having a cold winter which has been really really nice. Um, the last three winters, the three houses we've been living in, the, the two houses in uh, the old place called Fort Drop, um, the second one of those, I love that house but unfortunately also problems with the heating and the uh, housing company wasn't interested in fixing it. So you paid like uh, a fair amount of rent, but the heating would cost a fortune to heat up, uh, which was not, it wasn't economically um, suitable for Paul and I, and also it was like a very big house. I do miss the big house, it was lovely having all the space. I am one of these people who love to have big rooms and open spaces. I'm not one for very, very small rooms, which you find if, probably find it weird when I sit in my office all the time. I do sit there a lot. And it's a very small room, but um, 
yeah, I, I just do like open and airy light spaces. Um, I, I don't know if I suffer from a little bit of claustrophobia, I don't think I do, but um, I just like having air around me. So that's what. But that means that we'll have to move here latest to 1st of August. We've known this for about three weeks now, three weeks, two or three weeks. So we are looking constantly, we're looking through housing associations, we're looking for private to let. Problem with private to let, you really have to be careful because that's what we've done the last two times, three times, I think, where people have just been like not interested in maintaining the property. They want the money, but they don't want to do what they're supposed to do for the area, um, like for us like make sure everything works. The old woman in the house, there was the, the floor heating, it was like a whole valve system. And she said like, oh, if you can try and go down, turn on that one and see what happens and then touch that one and then maybe turn that one. I was like, no, I don't have to do this. I pay a rent and this is your problem to make sure that if I want heat, I'll just press one button and the heat comes. And uh, she never did that. So the money she claims that she needs to get from us, screw it. I'm ready to go to court with it. I'm not paying her. <laughs> and uh, it's not not fair even also because when we moved from there she sent a letter uh, you know we were out in a very very short notice that was her sending us a letter saying that if you can be out before the 1st of November there's not gonna be anything between us um, we were out by the 1st of November we were out the 27th actually uh, of um, 27th of uh, November I think no 20, October sorry uh, very shortly after my birthday so she had the house when she wanted it, and therefore she's not getting them. We're looking for that permit at the moment because we moved. A lot of boxes are stored out there, and uh, we need to find that litter and slam it in the face so she can cancel the court. And I'm <laughs> not even bothered. She's so really irritating, that woman. She thinks she, she thinks she can do whatever she wants. We found out later when we moved from there that she has several other properties where people are also constantly moving in and moving out because of problems with her. So, yeah. Um, it's just been a moving hell since we moved back from Sweden. Um, we lived in Sweden for three years because Paula and I both were in the airport. Fortunately, we both lost our jobs around the same time, same month, because of uh, finance crisis, which never really existed. That's just something people invented. Um, so the company laid off a whole lot of people. And uh, since then, it's just been shit. Uh, we've been l moving, let me see, we came from Sweden to Denmark, that's one move, and that one place we only stayed one night because the guy was a complete jerk. We came there, there was no hot water, and he wasn't home, we had to go and wait outside to midnight to get the key to get in. At four o'clock he came down drunk in the morning, standing inside our bedroom, like, hey, what are you doing? So we left that to another house, which we were told we could rent. Um, and then we found out, that's, that's the second move then. Then we were told that uh, we could rent the house, the guy would set up a contract, we never saw a contract. About a month later, some people came to view the house, because it was up for sale, we didn't know, and then two weeks later we had to be out. Thank you for that. Then we moved into a small apartment. Location? Perfect. Apartment? Hated it. It's too small. Way, way, way too cramped for Paul and I. Like The kitchen was like, if you say the kitchen is here, take this table there, and you make a wall from there, door and over here, that was the kitchen. And then we only had one bedroom, really, really tiny. And then that, that's the third move. Yeah, the third move. Then we moved out to a house on the countryside, fourth move. Moved to the neighbor house when they came available because we liked that better, fifth move. Then we moved out to the place with the bitch, as I call her, she was. Um, seventh move, then here. Eighth move, and now we have to go again. So that's nine moves, guys, since 2010, April 2010. That's basically just five years exactly uh, this April. So I'm tired. I want to have a place where I can move in and know this is where we're going to stay and settle down and don't have to worry about any stupid landlords making any problems or something like that because we paid our stuff at time and we did what we were supposed to do. We just feel like we've been pushed around and it sucked yeah all right guys i'm gonna go and have a shower and then go to bed i'll see you tomorrow and i apologize for two some of my vlogs being quite flat at the moment but i don't do much and uh yeah i need some inspiration to pep me up and i've been thinking a lot about what i put on my danish channel anyways i'll see you guys soon i love y'all peace
Hej. Så er det ud af sjovt 50-50.